Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we're on the hunt for pepper or more specifically I'm going to show you guys where you can find some pepper, where some of those typical places are, those reliable places that you can pop in and pick it up. Why would you want pepper? Well one such thing that got my attention recently was the, uh, the pepperoni roll. Absolutely fantastic thing that you can cook. Link in the top right of the description now if you want to know what you need to go about making that. But um, yeah, one of the ingredients, one of the more tougher ones, is pepper. So let's go and hunt us some pepper. <laughs> so the first location on our hunt is Freya's restaurant in uh, Helvita. Now, inside Freya's restaurant, there are four different pepper shakers, I guess, containing four peppers that uh, you can pick up. In Helvita itself, there's six. So there's four in the restaurant and there's two additional ones I'll show you as well. You can pick these up nice and quickly. So here's Freya's restaurant. From the outside, you wanna head in. There's four rooms there in total, one in each room. So as soon as we go in the door, we're gonna hang a left and you kind of see it there at the back on the shelves. Now, once you pick this up, it's not going to respawn for you for about 24 hours. Server hopping be damned, it won't help. Uh, that's why it's kind of important to know all the different locations. So consider this room done. That's the pepper. We'll go into this top room here. There's another one on these shelves right there. Really hard to pick up. Uh, let's get out and we'll just take a left. And there's going to be one on the table here in this room. And finally, the room at the back. There we go. There's that final pepper. So that's four, but as I said, there's more than four in this area. So there are two more that we can get our hands on. So one is um, it's in the butcher's house up here. I think it's this one. Yes, you're looking for this uh, pool table here. Straight through into the kitchen. And there we go, salt and pepper. Let's grab that pepper. And then heading back out again, and we'll just head back down towards the restaurant, but we're going to hang a left here just before it. And just up here, there's a cool little house with these cool little window display here. And one of the things on display is pepper. I have to actually grab it from the inside. All right, done. So that's Helvita. That's six different pepper thingy bobs you can pick up in roughly a 24 hour period. Next up on our treasure hunt for Pepper, we're off to the White Springs Golf Resort. Yes, we have farmed the living bejesus out of this area, but did you ever stop and wonder, would this be a good spot for Pepper? I know I didn't. All right, at the White Spring Golf Club house thingy, there are four more Pepper thingies that we can collect. So we make our way inside, and we'll just come up this little stairs here. Or, of course, if you're accessing it from the other side, from the tennis court, well, you just come straight in the door. And we're going to take a left. So there's one over here. And then there's another one up over here by the window. That's two. We have a third one on a table over here. That makes three. And then we'll just make our way across to the next room. And here is the fourth one on the table. So that's four more pepper. So what does that make? We had six in uh, Helvita. We have four in the White Springs. So we're already up to 10. Now, once you pick these up, if you go server hopping or whatever, these aren't going to reappear. They typically respawn every day or so, just like anything else in the world that you happen to just pick up. So we have to make the best of what we have in front of us at any given time. That's why I feel like it's important to kind of harvest up everything that's there in one run. So we don't have to worry about where we've been, where we're going, respawn rates or all of that jazz when it comes to needing more pepper later, if we need it later. Pepper also doesn't spoil. So as these, um, as these different recipes require pepper are becoming more and more popular in uh, Fallout, especially with Wastelanders, you can also chuck these into your machine and sell them. 
So next up on our pepper exploration expedition is Knife Edge. Knife Edge you'll find just to the right of the crater. Right there. So let's pop in for a look at Knife's Edge, shall we? So Knife's Edge is just like a, a small little camp type location here. It's very small, it's very compact, which means finding the pepper here is so much easier. It's it's all close together. So we'll use this refrigerator and tinker bench as our uh, reference point. So we'll just come around to the left and already here's one and here's two. So that was nice and handy. So I figure, you know, every time I'm going to do this going forward, I'm heading to the crater. I'm going to make a quick stop off here, you know, on a daily basis, just to, um, just to make sure I'm grabbing the pepper here. It's just a, a fast four to have. Here's the, the third. It's a fast four to have, you know, to pick up, to just have handy in case you ever need it. So that's three. And the fourth, of course, then is up top here. All right, so that concludes the four at Knife Edge. Now next we're heading to Bolton Greens. All right, so four more to pick up here in Bolton Greens. So from the fountain slash roundabout, we'll just head in the main door here. And we'll just kind of come through these double doors. And over on our right, we have two. There's two salt there as well if you want them. Do you know what? I'm going to take them. So that's two pepper right there. The third is just over here. And then we'll continue around the room. And just to the left of this jukebox, there's a single door. Employees only. We'll just pop in. And around to our left, we have the fourth. So that's four more pepper here. Nice, fast, and easy to get our hands on. Next, we're going to head to the Red Rocket Mega Stop. So at Red Rocket Mega Stop, we're just gonna kind of make our way towards the sign there a bit and veer off to the right. Kind of got to get my bearings here now, but our first of three pepper shakers will be here, up here on the shelf, right beside the salt. And then we'll come through here into the other room, I don't know, and then through into the dining room. And there should be some here on the table. That is pepper number two. And then just around here on the other side, there. Pepper number three. Oh, have you ever thought you would be so excited about pepper? And next on our list for another three peppers is the General Steakhouse, which is right down here, just across from uh, Robco Research Center. So there's Robco there. Here's the steakhouse. So we're gonna just go in the door here. It's a little messy, please do excuse the mess. Straight, straight through into the main dining hall. And over here on this table, we have some salt and pepper. Let's grab that pepper. Now, just turn around a bit. There's a stairs going up and a stairs just under it going down. The stairs goes down to the restrooms, but on the right, we have the kitchen. And inside the kitchen, on the shelf, right here, is some pepper. And to get the third one, we're just going to head back up the stairs and up the stairs just above it. Hang a left when you're up and straight through to this room here. And there's one just on the table. And that makes three. So that's three we have in the general steakhouse. Next, we're going to go hunting for two. There's two at the White Powder Winter Sports. Located right here. So as soon as you spawn in, you can just head down over here. And there are two pepper to pick up in this building. There's one over here on the table beside the salt. And on the other side of the room on this counter, there is your second pepper. That's two more. In fact, that's enough pepper just there on its own for a pepperoni roll. Two more pepper can be found at Hemlock Holes right here. So we just got to head inside. This one's nice and straightforward enough. A little bit of a diner area here. 
And around to our left, there is a pepper. We'll grab that. And there's one more behind the counter over here. There are two more pepper that can be found at Bastion Park, which is here, just north, just a little north of our Big Ben Tunnel West. So if we just kind of pop on into the park here and head to the lower section, there are some picnic tables around and two of them contain pepper. So there's one and there's one more over here. So in terms of hunting for pepper, that's pretty much it in terms of the bigger caches. Now there are a few places you will find one, uh, maybe two, but usually just the one um, pepper <laughs> um, at any given time. Flatwood's been an example. Um, there's a single one here. Apparently, according to the wiki, there should be a double, but I, for the life of me, can only find the one in this location. And I have server hopped over and over. So there are a few places like that, um, either Flatwoods, Portside Pub, Big Fred's, Barbecue Shack, and the list goes on where you'll find a single uh, pepper. But you're not really going to need to hunt down those single ones. If you've done any of these, right? If you've done all of these that we've just looked at, you've already got over 30 pepper. Congratulations. Um, so that's going to be more than enough for your, your pepperoni rolls or your blood bug pepper steaks or your deck claw wellingtons or whatever the case may be that you're baking up today. So hopefully you found the video some bit useful. If you like the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy, all the best.